So as God's possession this morning, as people of covenant this morning, we have every reason to thank God. Thanking God for the demonstration of his power for his covenant people on the earth to bring deliverance and to silence the enemies. So one of the reasons this morning is that we are thanking God for the demonstration of his power for his covenant people on the earth to bring deliverance and to silence the enemies. You know, friends, when it's talking about them, he turned the sea into dry land, he's talking about them leaving Egypt. There's nothing God will not do for you. I said, there's nothing God will not do for you. He says, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people who have been called for to, to show the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. I said, there's nothing God will not do for you. I know you are still thinking that that big money has not yet dropped and that other big thing has not yet happened. But if you only knew what God has already done for you, your dancing shoes will be polished. You will be on your feet and shouting glory to God. Because, yes, because, because never, never, never in the history of humanity had a people confronted the Red Sea. They confronted the Red Sea which does not listen to anybody. They confronted a mountain that's, that is used to swallowing people. But when these God's people came to the Red Sea, the Red Sea said, I, 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 I recognize something today. I realize you didn't come alone into 2023. I realize you came with Almighty God into 2023. Therefore, the Red Sea began to bow to scripture that says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? But the Lord who is mighty in battle. I want to announce to you today that you are standing here because you are God's possession. What was meant to destroy you is saluting you. The Red Sea froze on the right and the Red Sea froze on the left and the people of God are walking through. I want to announce to you, you have been walking through 2023 and you are going to walk through it till the end because the God of heaven, Jehovah El Shaddai is his name and because you are God's possession, the Red Sea is going to salute you. I said the Red Sea is going to salute you. The Jordan is going to dry up and you are going to walk on dry land. If you believe that, give the Lord a shout of praise and a shout of glory in the house of the Lord. On the same road you passed yesterday, people that went through never came back. The same market you went, some people never came back. The same sleep that you slept, some people never woke up. The same business that you are doing, some people have put padlock on their own. The same children you sent to school, they came back home. Some people's own did not come back. But I'm saying to you, it's not because we are better than anybody else, but because we are God's people. We are people of the blood of Jesus. I say we are people of the blood of Jesus. And because of that blood, victory is our portion. Victory is my portion portion. Victory is your portion. Victory belongs to your children. You are going from glory to glory. I'm, hey, glory to God. Of course, the devil will tell you it's luck. It's not luck. Have you ever seen where luck froze the Red Sea? Somebody said it was low tide. For low tide to drown the chariots of Pharaoh, you are a miracle standing here today. I said you are a miracle standing here today. I'm alive today. 
Because God kept me. I'm alive today only because of His grace. He kept me. God kept me. His mercy kept me. Yeah, so I would let go. I'm alive. Because God kept me. I'm alive today. Only because of His death. He kept me. God kept me. His mercy. Shout of hallelujah. 